Hi viewers, this is Dr. Gunamani Jana and you are watching video with me on database management system and in this video we will be mainly covering on the SQL, the structured query language. This is the most awaited video, most of the students and faculty they requested several times to have a proper video on this structured query language. So you are welcome and it is very important you go for any software job you go for as a database administrator you must have a sound knowledge on any database and today we will be focusing on this sql or the structured query language in the overview we are going for the overview of the sql query language then the data definition basic query structures additional basic operations set operations null values aggregate functions nested subqueries and also modification of the database so welcome now if you see the history of the sql ibm actually developed sql languages as part of the system r project at the ibm san jose research laboratory that is the united states of america then they renamed as a structured query language or sql sql also the different nsi or nc and iso standard of sql are sql 86 sql 89 sql 92 and SQL 1999, that is language name become Y2K compliant, that you will be knowing on the 2000 year. Then SQL 2003, and this commercial system offers most, uh, if it is the SQL 92 features afterwards, most of the things it is offered there also, plus varying features set from lateral standards and uh, special properties also, proprietary features are also added there. So this is the history. Uh, coming to data definition language, uh, SQL data definition language or DDL, it allows the specification of information about relation including, uh, these are the following things, first one, the schema of each relation, here relation means a table, schema means the heading of the table, remember in like this, the schema for each relation means heading of each table, then domain of values associated with each attribute, for the, for the name um, attribute, there is a value Gunamani, or there is a Sanjit, or there is a value like that, so something like that. Then integrity constraints, whatever the constraints or the restriction you want to put it, you can put it there. And as well as, uh, we'll see later also other information such as the set of indices to be maintained for each relation, security and authorization information for each relation, the physical storage structure of each relation on the disk. Okay, these are the things. Then what is the domain type in SQL, the structured query language, this is very important. Most of the people, they confuse between the CAR, SIGEN and VARCAR N. CAR, while you are, this is just the data type. Oh. So CAR N, once you create the CAR N, it is a fixed length character, we cannot change it okay. for the program. Afterwards, we can change it. So with user specified length, and that means, suppose you define the size 10, 10 size is blocked, You you, you cannot, uh, um, increase it. You can use less. If you are using less, then it is underused or underutilized. But while we are going for var char n, this is called the variable length character strings with user specified maximum length is equal to n. Suppose n is equal to 100 and you are using 20, remaining 80 is free. is available in the memory. Then we are using the integer int. Integer is a finite subset of the integer. Uh, that is machine dependent. So we can use int. Uh, in addition, also we are using small int. Small int for the small integer, it is a machine dependent subset of integer domain type. Similarly, we use numeric p, d. Here p, d means uh, with user specified precision of uh, p digits with uh, d digits. That means uh, suppose I define uh, numeric 3, 1. That means so total it will take 3. And after the decimal point, it will take only one digit, right? For for example, I see if I put it there, 44.5. You see here, 44 point total three digits, four four five. Okay, and after the decimal point, it is only five. One digit is there. So this is the meaning of three comma. But if you want to say 0.32, it will not accept because uh, out of these three, uh, on the right hand side, it will accept only one. But you have given two, it will not accept. Similarly, you are putting it here, four four four. 0.5 it will not accept because maximum it will allow uh, 3 and uh, left hand side it can take maximum 2 and right hand side it can take 1 right so this is the numeric pd it will be most we will be using 
then a real or double precision this is the floating point and double precision floating point numbers uh, with mesh independent precision similarly we go for the float n floating point numbers with user specified precision at at least n uh, and other things also will be covered in the next chapter now let us come how do we create table suppose I am going to create a relation construct or a table construct. And how do you go for that one? What is the syntax for that one? Uh, An SQL relation is defined using the create table command. So relation means here it is a table. How do we create a table? We can create a table using the command create table. Okay, you see it here that uh, create table. What is the table name? Suppose R is the table name. You can make it student is a table, faculty is a table anything but i am putting r why r is a relation the table relation both are same that's why i'm going to create a table r and what will be the content of these things in the syntax you please observe is a1 d1 comma a2 d2 comma up to a n d n and any comma any integrity constraint okay then close the braces right then r is the name of the relation or the table here a is the attribute and d the data type for example you see I'm going to create a table instructor. How do you create it? So create table, both are separate, not, not one word. Create space table, space instructor. So create table is the command using which I can create. And the name of the table is instructor. Then our braces starts and here the braces closed. Here, what I told you that I will go for A1, D1. What is A? A is attribute, attribute one and D is the data type of that one. Suppose I put ID is my attribute and character 5 because this id is five digit character it is fixed we cannot change it then name is another attribute but here i am using a var car because it is not necessary that everybody's name will be 20 digit or 20 character for example my name is jijana so jijana i need only three and what about the remaining 17 because we have given 20 so if it, i put it a fix then that much of memory block will be there but if i would jijana so in my case only three is used remaining 17 is free memory right Similarly, department name, the two words can be separated with the underscore. Department underscore name, it is also, I put it, Bharkar 20. My department is CAC. Or some other department is EC. Then it is three characters is enough. So, if you put only character 20, then in that case, 20 is blocked. Got it now? The salary numeric 8. So, 8 digit will be total. Out of that, 7 digit will be there before the decimal point. And after the decimal point, 2 digit will be there. Right? So these are the things and once you completed all things, close with the braces. So now the table will be created. It's clear. Now uh, we have other things like the not null, then the primary key and the foreign key or references are. How do we create all the things? For example, I create the same table, create table instructor, id is equal to character 5, comma, name, var car 20. I put it not null. I put it not null. When I put it as a not null, by default it becomes the primary key, right? Then department name, some var character 20, salary is numeric, this one, and uh, here I put uh, the primary key as id, I declared it here, okay? I declared the primary key, the primary key is id, the id is the primary key, I declared it here, right? Primary space key, id comma, and the foreign key I put is the department name, department uh, and references to what the department this refer this department name uh, in which other table it is available now it is available in the department uh, relation the department table right that's why when two keys are common in uh, when a key is common in two tables then uh, in one of the table it is a foreign key clear uh, this is the constraints where you are putting first one i put create table instructor the braces starts and the braces close here permanently and id character 5 comma name var character 20 not null department name var character 20 comma salary numeric 8 comma 2 comma primary id primary key uh, that is id comma foreign key department references department is clear so at the end you put a semicolon so primary key declarations on an attribute automatically ensures not null that means when you go for the id by default it is not null but if you want to put some other thing also not null, name should not be blank, then you have to put it, okay, not null also, right. Then, uh, like that, suppose we want to add, uh, create some more relations or some more tables. Suppose I want to create a table student. Now, you, uh, you, you can write all the things of your own without seeing this one. I say, 
create table student the process start here id and the uh, data type is varchar 5 because id i am telling you that here also i say id can also vary it may be three digit it may be four digit it may be five digit i am putting it here if it is not varying it is a fixed one you can put character 5 the name is varchar 20 it is not null i am declaring department name varchar 20 and total credit student is numeric comma 0 then primary key why because the total credit can be 128 it can be 140 it can be some university is 160 okay. so 160.0 like that it will there uh, so primary key what i declare the primary key is id so by default it will be not null the foreign key the department name a reference to department is clear so using this once you completed everything here okay but uh, one thing you forgot you have to uh, put to one more uh, this in you know, a closing braces here before closing the department that is things you don't forget right so or you want i will put it here just uh, before this uh, department before i close it here see so you are here you have to put one more thing then create table text so first is the id varchar 5 then course id varchar 8 section id something section a b c d something like that semester year Red, where to all the things I put that means A, B, C, D. I can, you can put it or A, 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 B also you can put it. That's why I'm putting two. And the primary key uh, I put ID, course ID, section ID, semester, and year. These are the price that means uh, ID only the ID cannot define. So I put the ID along with the course ID and with the section ID. And because here maybe ID is not sufficient to define everything because if it is not properly designed that id so there may be some duplicacy or redundancy in that case only id cannot be a primary key so like that the foreign key the id reference in student okay so section id can be dropped from primary key up to ensure uh, a student cannot be registered for two sections of the same courses in the same course. okay this like this you can create a number of tables some more also this is suppose i go for creating a table course so course uh, create table course course id varchar 8 title varchar 50 department name varchar 20 credits uh, numeric 2 comma 0 uh, then primary id i put it the course id course id the primary by default it will be not null then foreign key the department name references department right so like this you can do all things then we can the crowd operation also uh, how we can go for the updating the table or how to update the tables so i can the table then how do i use the command insert into so insert into instructor what is the meaning of instruct or insert into means this is the command i use to insert something into the table name is instructor and then you write the values what are the values so for id i write 10211 the name i write smith the department I write biology something i write um, values uh, double six triple zero right so like this you can go on inserting the values right then the delete uh, if you want to remove all the tuples from the student what is the tuple tuple means uh, the rows if you want to remove all tuples from the student relation then delete from student that is the command delete from delete from a table you put it there then all the rows data will be deleted then suppose i want to drop the table then the drop table what is the table name suppose initially i created a table r so drop table r it will also drop so remember the dropping of attributes not supported by many database we will study afterwards then alter suppose uh, i want to alter something in a table r i want to add another attribute a and d a means the attribute and d is the data type how do you go for that alter table the r and add a d a is the attribute name suppose i want uh, a is the mobile and d is the data type is something like that integer 9 okay or uh, yes I, I put it uh, integer 9 right or, or like that you can go for that one right so then alter table r then drop a okay so if you want to drop that table alter table r that means first you are using the word alter table and the table name if you want to add something add a d if you want to drop a then alter table r drop a okay where a is the name of the attribute of relation r and dropping of this attribute dropping of the attribute it is not supported by many of the database what i told you that 
uh, so you have to check that some versions only it supports then uh, the basic query is how do because this up to this we created table inserted values and suppose i want uh, uh, query it that i want to uh, uh, retrieve information from that uh, database how do so we use the word select this is the syntax select something from something where this is the condition or p is the predicate here okay p is the attribute r is the relation p is the predicate okay this is the syntax for that one select these and these attributes from these and these relations where the predicate uh, what you want to write it is one type of languages using that you can uh, retrieve all the data from that one so now let us go and go for the retrieve suppose the instructor table instructor table i have to select the name how to do that one so we use a select clause the predicate the individual part we call it as the clause okay so the select clause lists the attribute desired in the result of a query corresponding to the projections operations uh, of the relation algebra okay then how do how do go for that one for example find the name of all instructor suppose the table is there the database is there uh, rit database and their instructors are there so from this instructor i want to select the name of all instructor it is instructor or did the faculty uh, so you you, would, uh, you think whatever you like you can put a name now i write select name from instructor now it will select all the names we are having uh, 110 faculty in rit so it will select the name of all the faculty right now suppose uh, you, the name can be in upper case and the lower cases but sql names are case and case insensitive so you write in upper case lower case or combination of upper and lower cases does not make it difference so that means name capital n a m e equivalent to capital n a m e equal to lower case n a m e there is no difference so you don't worry because it is not uh, case sensitive here now uh, the select clause we can use uh, certain things like uh, certain commands like distinct and all the meaning of that one uh, so sql allows duplicate uh, in relations as well as in query languages uh, to force the elimination of the duplicates i don't want duplicate because uh, if i want to say how many uh, department are there because against each student there will be a department and there are 2000 uh, students should it show that all the 2000 departments uh, duplications no so there are say 720 students in computer science department so computer science and engineering will show as one department for all 720 similarly say there are uh, um, only 120 students in ec so for all ec students that is one department ec like that it may show eight departments not uh, 2100 department as uh, there are 2100 intake students are there then how do i uh, uh, restrict the duplications so i'll be using the distinct okay i'll be using the distinct command so select distinct uh, select what the department name from the instructor so how many department will show so if you want to uh, include all the duplicates in that case i have to use the word all okay i have to use the word all that is select all department name from instructor so this is the difference you can remember and uh, you can use an asterisk assign just like a star and that is the select clauses not all attributes for select all uh, you are you are writing here select all the previous you are writing select all all you can use asterisk sign it will select asterisk man select all from instructor is the same result it will give uh, the result it will give suppose an attribute can be literal with the no uh, some um, clauses so in that case what you do we can select a particular thing select uh, under single quotations 437 as foo result of this table one column and a single row with a value 437 and give you uh, a column uh, like that it is can give it okay an attribute can be literal with a from clause so select a from instructor like that also we can do it right now uh, again we are using suppose you want to uh, go for uh, more number of uh, uh, attributes so for example select id select name select salary by 12 because the salary what you are telling that annual salary salary per annum so select id comma name comma salary by 12 
from instructor it will show and suppose the at a table you created now you want to score it as another table then you can add select id name salary by 12 as you already created you select this and this from instructor it is selected okay then uh, for for renaming all the things uh, you use the as clause so select id name salary by 12 as monthly salary that means it will create a new table table name is monthly salary or or sorry salary by 12 as monthly salary that uh, salary by 12 what you are telling that also it can be replaced with the monthly salary that means previously the attribute was salary by 12 now the new attribute will be monthly salary then what it will uh, retrieve now id name and monthly salary for all the instructor it will retrieve right now uh, we will be going for some more clauses like the where clause uh, say for example uh, we, we we can use it like this you see the uh, demonstration here select name you come here directly select name from instructor where department is department name is computer science what is the meaning of that one we find all the instructors in computer science department so exactly uh, it will search the computer science department that means it will compare computer science department in the computer science department how many instructor is there their name will be displayed right uh, you can also use the logical connectivity and or not for example select name from instructor select name from instructor where department name department name is equal to computer science and salary is greater than 80000 Mm, or or you can put it uh, the uh, the attendance is uh, 100 percent something like that so these and or all these things you can put it there right logical and or not all things okay then comparison can be applied to results of the arithmetic expressions also you can use it there uh, for example uh, from the from clause so select or all from uh, instructor uh, and uh, teaches so from these two uh, you select everything okay uh, fine. this is the just the cartesian product while you go for the cartesian product that means i select all from two tables like the instructor uh, teaches so instructor is a table this also is a table both the tables so how many rows there you go the things you generate for example for cartesian product this is the instructor table and this is the teachers table what I want to so select all from the previous select all oh, sorry select all from two tables what are the table instructor and teachers so this is the instruction and this is the teachers in the instructor what is there id name department salary id name department and salary then here id is common it will uh, not duplicate then it will go for uh, the yeah The teacher's ID it will take because here it is the instructor ID, instructor ID, here is the teacher ID, teacher dot ID. Then it will go for the course ID, new, and the section ID, uh, semester and year. Try to understand. Here what it what it has done, uh, you can say then why it, it is duplicating the ID. You see here it was the instructor ID, but here it is represented as the teacher ID. Both are same. When both are same, it will concatenate. So for that it will write instructor dot ID. That is the instructor ID. Your teachers dot id are the things both will be there so this is the concatenation suppose how uh, to find the name of all instructors who have taught some courses and the course id select all things try to understand so your boss is telling okay you select uh, the name of the instructor who have taught dbms with the course id 501 like this how to do that one so select what you want to do because two things are there i want the name and also the course id so select name and course id from two table instructor and teachers where what is the condition instructor dot id is equal to teachers dot id i have to understand this one this is very important for you he is telling uh first study the query what he is asking he is telling find the name of all instructors i want to because i uh, find the name of all instructors i have to use select okay that is the command you can understand who have taught 
from course course name and course id that means you are going to select course name and course id then select name means course name comma course id from is it a single table no it is two table what is the table name one table is instructor another table is teachers so select name comma course id from instructor comma teachers what is the condition condition is that because uh, the instructor is one and teacher is one the instructor id and teacher id should be same so here instructor dot id which is equal to teachers dot id right Actually, uh, find the name of all instructors of the art department who have taught some courses and the course id something but little difference is that we are department name should be art okay then what you have done uh, select name and course id from instructor and teachers for instructor dot id which is called teachers dot id up to this it is okay the previous one but and what is the and um, is using the department should be art then instructor dot department okay so who, who is instructing the that is there in the instructor table instructor dot department should be art or the full name you can write whatever thing from this also you can retry then the rename operator is there also rename operations uh, that is the old name as new name you can put it there for example select distinct teacher name or teacher's name from instructor as t and instructor as s okay so two things are one is the teachers one is the uh, um, there okay then what what is the condition t dot salary greater than s dot salary and s dot department which is equal to compression department what is the thing detailing find the name of all instructor who have a higher salary than the same instructor in the computation is trying trying query language find the name of all the instructors okay so are, are you getting me instructor who have higher salary the condition is that he, i want to find the teachers okay who is teaching right and select distinct t dot name from instructor as t and instructor as s okay and where t dot salary is greater than s dot salary and s dot department is equal to complete okay so this is the keyword as uh, is optional and uh, may be omitted also that is not command then we take it here relation like the employee and uh, supervisor suppose i want to find find the supervisor of bob find the supervisor of the supervisor of bob because uh, somebody has a supervisor the other also has a supervisor that is boss find all the supervisors direct and indirect of bob okay, like that you can get it there you will be knowing no because there is a hierarchy suppose one is the assistant officer then is a associate officer there is a professor the professor is the boss of associate professor associate professor is the boss of assistant professor like that like that the principal will be boss of all the professors and all things like that so now you are going for the string operations the string operations how exactly you do so suppose i want to select something which exactly matches the name of uh, the thing so select name from instructor when name like dar dar may be um, darling dar may be uh, darshan dar may be darpan anything uh, because it start with dar that means suppose you go for the maths i want to find all the students who got 100 percentage so you like in single quotation 100 plus percentage script this is required there and above we use the black slash as the escape character okay then some string operations continued patterns are case insensitive so whatever the pattern you are giving is case sensitive whatever the uh, capital letter lower case use the same thing it will give it, it cannot go for insensitive right suppose i want to select something as a quotation intro percentage that means will match any string uh, uh, we starting with intro you got it now now if you go the second option uh, uh, quotation uh, percentage computer percentage quotation it matches anything containing computer as a substring try to understand so here suppose introduction is there it will say yes introduction is there suppose anywhere computer science is there computer science engineering is there artificial computer science it will match all the things 
Suppose this is uh, under single quotation, three dashes are underscore is there, matches any string of exactly three character. Suppose A, B, C, C, D, G, H, H, like that it will match. Then the next one, uh, quote, is on the quotation, uh, three underscore percentage matches any string, at least three characters common is there. Okay, minimum three will be there or more than three will be there, less than three it will not select, right? Then also for concatenation using two um, vertical parallel lines, you can use that. This is used for concatenation and converting from upper to lower cases also, and it is possible. And finding finding the string length, string length and extracting substance also it is possible here, right? Then let us uh, we go for the ordering. Okay. Suppose I want to make something in order, uh, ascending order or descending order. Then select distinct name from instructor order by name. Order by name. Here order by name means so list of alphabetical orders or uh, name. That means first A will come also, then B is come, B will come, Bhanu, then C is come, Chitra, then D is called Dinesh, like that, all the name in order it will come. Suppose you want to order by the um, uh, descending order, uh, you can put it E E S C. Okay. You take an example here. Uh, where we can uh, uh, use the where clause and you can use the um, between at the comparison order, uh, comparison operators. Suppose I want um, the name of the instructor, uh, uh, they are getting salary between 90,000 and 1 lakh. How we get it? So select name from instructor where salary between 90,000 and 1 lakh. I, I don't count it, it is 90 lakh or 90, you, you see that one. Then the tuple comparison also is there. Select name and course ID from instructor and teachers instructor comma teachers or teaches where instructor dot id comma department underscore name which is equal to teachers dot id and department is biology like this also you can compare and you can get all things then uh, we can also uh, go for the removal of the duplicates sql can define how many copies of the tuples appear in this result for example <coughs> So select theta R1, where uh, T1 copies the tuple T1 and R1 and T1 satisfy the selection all things. Okay, these things I think are this one. See it here. Uh, we, we have a multi-set relations. R1 is some AB. What is R1? R1 is a table or a relation. R2 is another table. Uh, the table R1 are having attribute A and B. And R2 is having other attribute that is C, right? Then what is telling? Uh, suppose I want to put it R1 are having 1 comma A, 2 comma A, and R2 is having uh, 2, 3, 3, something like that. And we can use the projection command uh, to get all the fields, the attributes, okay? So Uh, SQL, it can duplicate the semantics. For example, I can select all the attribute which equivalent to some projection from all the tables where uh, the predicate condition is this one. Okay. So, I think up to this, we can uh, conclude the session here. And uh, you who are interested in uh, uh, the advance this SQL, uh, please do send some comments and uh, don't forget to subscribe this channel also so that all these videos smoothly without any delay can reach you. Thank you for watching. Please take care of your health and have a good day.